Hi there everyone, this is Mike from Sabrin and I've got something really special for you guys. Today I'm going to be unboxing and talking about our Rocket XTRMQ external enclosure. Now this thing is really special because unlike a lot of external enclosures, this has two NVMe SSDs that you can install inside it. Just to let you know, we also have a 16 terabyte model, which I've already done a video on, so go ahead and check that out after this one. But this enclosure is really special because not only have we worked closely with Intel to get this Thunderbolt 3 certified, but this is all completely tool free. So you're able to insert two SSDs and not just that, but run them in RAID 0, sequentially or RAID 1. So we've made it even easier by giving you Sabrent RAID Assistant on Windows to set this thing up. And we've even got video tutorials on how to set it up on both Windows and Mac. I mean, we've given you everything guys. So go ahead, like this video and let's just get into the unboxing. So right over here, we've got the rugged Thunderbolt 3 to NVMe M.2 SSD tool free enclosure. And this is a dual SSD enclosure, meaning that you can fit up to two NVMe SSDs into this thing. Just to let you guys know, this is capable of running on both Windows and Mac. And inside the box, you get the instruction manual, which honestly will go through absolutely everything you need to know on how to set this thing up as well as install it. But I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video just over here. Now inside the box, we get the fantastic tool free SSD enclosure in here. And then if we dig a little bit deeper, we have a box that's full of little goodies. So inside we get the Thunderbolt 3 cable, we get the power cable and also the power adapter. And then if we open up a little bit more, for the SSDs, we've also got some thermal pads. So we've got a 0.8 millimeter thermal pad as well as a 1.2 millimeter uh, thermal pad, depending on the SSD that you plan on installing in this. Now to install the SSD, you need the right SSD. So this one here is an NVMe M.2 SSD, not a SATA SSD. So both of these are firstly keyed correctly. So if you have a look, you need to make sure that the SSD itself has the notch just over here, and this will work perfectly with your NVMe SSD drive that we have over here. So to install the SSD, it is really, really simple. All that you do is take off the rugged enclosure and then you wanna turn it around and can you see this little metal tab just over here? You wanna twist that and then open it up so it reveals the two NVMe slots that you need. So let's go ahead and install the SSD. So we'll start off by inserting the first one and then we'll put this inside the slot and that's the first one and let's do the second one and there you go. So both are secure inside. So then you just grab the bottom case, pop it on the bottom, twist to make sure it's locked into place and you're all done. Put the rugged case back on and then connect up to, to, to your computer and you're ready to go. So that's the procedure on how to install the NVMe SSDs inside this dual external enclosure. But let me talk you through some of the benefits of going for something like this. So because this drive has two SSDs built into this thing, this is something a little bit different to any other drive out there. Firstly, like I mentioned, is you can set it up any way you wish. This thing can be set up in RAID 0 if you really need those fast speeds. You can set it up in RAID 1 if you need a backup, but just be aware that let's say, for example, we've got two terabyte SSDs in this thing. You only have two terabytes of storage instead of four terabytes when you set it up in RAID 1. Or if you want the full access to the dual SSDs, then run it sequentially. So it fills up one and then fills up the other. And then essentially you've got an SSD enclosure that you can keep on using. In terms of the M.2 capability sizes, it can fit 80 millimeter, 60 millimeter and 42 millimeter M.2 NVMe SSDs. And we've made it really easy for you to set this thing up any way you like with our Sabrent RAID Assistant on Windows or our video on the Mac on how to set up the dual SSDs on a Mac. And because this has an Intel certified Thunderbolt 3 connection, this is super fast to your 
computer. You can get single disk speeds of up to 1,500 megabytes per second with software RAID speeds of up to 2,500 megabytes per second. Now that is impressive. So I thought I'd show you some of the expected speeds that you may get, depending on obviously your system and what OS you're running. Right now I'm using Mac OS just to kind of demonstrate this and to show you sort of the different speeds that you'd expect out of RAID 0, RAID 1 and JBOD. So with RAID 0, obviously this is optimized for speed and you can see that clearly with the right speeds nearing uh, 2,800 megabits per second. So uh, megabytes per second. So this is really really fast and then we've got read speeds nearing 2200 megabytes per second so this is optimal if you are looking for the fastest speeds possible out of a dual ssd setup then we have raid one which is the backup uh, system which basically gives you uh, half the amount of storage but obviously gives you that fault tolerance that you may be looking for now with the right speeds still really really fast still faster than actually most external ssds out there at nearly 1400 megabytes per second and then the reads well i mean the reads are again just crazy at 2200 megabytes per second so again pretty much blowing most external ssds out there and then when we look at jbod we get similar read and uh, we get similar write speeds at just under uh, 1400 megabytes per second and then the reads is at its slowest but again still really really fast compared to again a lot of competing external ssds at 1450 close enough megabytes per second so this is just to give you a representation on if you were to set it up in any one of the three most popular configurations what sort of speeds would you be expecting on the reads and write. This thing is just built really well with its aluminum enclosure and its rugged case. So if you need to take this on the go and you chuck your stuff around quite a bit, you'll be in safe hands with this thing. Trust me, we absolutely love developing and working on this product and I've absolutely loved using this product. So go ahead and check out the link down in the description if you wanna pick yourself up one of these. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, follow us on all the social medias. I'll leave links down in the description. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.